Okay, it's been a while since I put up a video, and yeah, welcome back to Dave's Garage. We're not in the garage today, but we are in the shed with the Harley. We're going to be uh, getting diving into the primary cover on this bike and getting it all off and uh, checking out the uh, clutches. I'm going to get in there and get into the clutch basket and take all the little clutches out and see how they are because I'm getting ready for a ride. This Friday, I'm going to uh, Tennessee. Gonna go ride the Dragon. Go do some other riding down there. Got some other business to take care of. I want to make sure she's in tip-top shape. So let's dive on into this. Hopefully, because my screen's all screwed up and I can't see where I'm at. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here and we're gonna have to loosen up the for the clutch handle up here. We uh. Loosen this up and take all the adjustment out of it and give it all the slack it needs. I've never done this job before, so, you know, maybe you can learn from my mistakes. So, let's just see what happens and we'll just dive into it. But basically, we'll just take all the, uh, make it where this is just gone. There's no tension on it. So, let's get on to that. So, what it's going to take on this application of my bike is a half inch and a 916th. We just Listen that on up. And then take the half inch up to the top. Oh, right here. And we'll just start screwing that back in. And basically that will take all the tension off the clutch handle. Yep, it's starting to come off. So just keep on doing that. It gets a little stuck. Get your half inch back out. Basically, all the tension is now off of the clutch handle. I'll run it all the way in. And that's where you set your tension on your clutch handle too. So, no longer any tension there. Now I'm going to have to remove my floorboard, the rear passenger floorboard. Get my shifter guys out of the way. And I'll also go ahead and right below the derby cover down here there is a drain plug for it and I'll also start draining out my primary oil all right so now we're going to take off the primary cover now everybody don't get butt hurt that I'm using an air impact because it all I've already went all the way around and loosened this thing up but I'm going to go ahead and remove this and then we'll see the inside of the old primary cover There we go. The primary cover is now off. Take that there loose. That's 11 sixteenths. Back out this. This is for additional clutch adjustment. Now the next thing. I remember right you need to have a good set of uh, snap ring pliers I hope that I can make my crappy set work but you're gonna hear me flick it off a few times hopefully it won't send this sucker flying but, come on about ready I don't have a flathead in here. As the one guy would say, this clonical. Been having some shifting issues with this bike. And I'm hoping. Because the bike's got like 70,000 miles on it. Oh, here they are. And I'm willing to bet number one issue is that we still have the original clutch pack set in this, which we're going to get ready to find out if we do or not. 
soon as I can find everything I need, because it's going to be like a 7 16 uh, This is basically the pressure, pressure plate, per se. And trying to find the right socket that meets it. Metric! Wonderful. When stuff just falls out and then the oil. So we got that new dad. Those new dads. I think we're pretty much done twinkling oil. So now we're getting into where we want to be. Because here comes most of the Right here. Ugh. I've been sitting on my knees too long. One more ring up in there. Fish out. There it is. Now this is, has a bevel to it. So basically, the flared out end is this way. Now I'm just going to kind of go through and look at all my clutch faces. Which that's going to take me a little bit. So we'll probably fast forward through this. Just check for damage and stuff like that on them. See if there's any real indifferences. but making sure we're still keeping everything in the same order that we took it out in. This one is measuring to be 0 0.150. The same. The same. The same. Getting a little bit bigger, a couple thousands bigger. Let's measure a couple of these for shits. This one's a little smaller by thou. Now I'm going to be replacing these clutches anyway since I've already got them out. That's 2,000 smaller. So there's 2,000 stippers from front to back. So. Do I need to replace my clutch? That is a very good question and I'm going to do it anyways because I don't know what they are factory spec but you know I'm going to go ahead and replace them since I've already got it apart 
and spend that money. Yay, spending money on the Harley once again. But, you know, kind of whatever. It is what it is. So this would be towards the transmission. This would be towards the primary cover. And those two fit in the middle. Okay. So that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you've learned something. Or you've learned from my mistakes. So I'm going to wrap it up right here. And... Hopefully tomorrow, I'll be able to get the new clutch packs, and we can start putting this thing together, because we're going to Tennessee, and we're going to have a good time, and hopefully we'll have good shifting. I've had good shifting before. I don't know if this is a clutch problem. If I felt it in my clutch handle, but it's when I take off in first gear, it feels like a slip in transmission, and I can feel the slip right in the clutch handle, so that made me want to inspect and check this out and then finally just go ahead and replace it since you know there is yep seventy thousand and six miles on this bike because she got overhauled on the other side the motor with the uh, new uh, cam plate cams lifters uh, the bearings to the back end of the the cams and uh, new oil pump, so got to keep her going. She's paid off, so and I love to ride, and we just need to get this thing fixed. So, like always, comment, rate, and subscribe, and we will catch you on the flip side and all that good stuff. And so I will catch you on the next video. Hopefully, it'll be coming out really soon before Friday because that's when I'm going to be leaving, and hopefully. Parts wise, this won't cost too god awful much. So, because the only thing I'm going to need is primary oil, the clutch pack, and I'm going to replace the uh, seal on the primary cover. I could probably reuse the one I got, but you know, that's probably a bad idea. So, later on.